Now, this week, many of us grabbed our jackets and jumpers as temperatures, yeah, they went south. So the idea of swimming in an outdoor pool might not sound so appealing. <laughs> but for some locals in Bath, they simply couldn't wait to take a dip in Britain's oldest Lido, which reopened to the public for the first time in 40 years. Harry Judd was brave enough to take the plunge. Anything to take his top off. Oh, look at this place, wow. This is Britain's oldest Lido, Cleveland Pools in Bath. It's over 200 years old. It fell into disrepair in the 1980s and was nearly demolished. Now it's restored and ready for new swimmers. And some of the Bath residents who made it possible are getting their first go in the pool. Who wants to go swimming? The first 100 dips have been allocated to crowdfunders who donated to the pool's restoration. Some gave as little as £5 and some much more. Together they raised £80,000 to help save the pools. So I donated to the crowdfunder. The idea of such an important building being brought back into its original use fascinated me really. Crowdfunding was part of its heart and I love the fact that it's part of the local community. It's so important to keep these historical lidos going. It's a lovely swim, but being September may be a bit too refreshing. That's pretty chilly. Next year, a state-of-the-art heating system will warm the pool using heat from the nearby River Avon. The pools are about a mile outside Central Bath, tucked in beside the river. They can only be accessed by foot, bike or bus, or from next year, by boat. And there was a reason this inaccessible site was chosen in the early 19th century. People had loved swimming in the river until, uh, until nude bathing was forbidden. This pool created a private space where people could bathe without being told off. <laughs> I see, naked? <laughs> yes. The pool opened in 1815 and was soon adopted by more modestly covered swimmers. For over 150 years it was a popular bathing spot and some of today's bathers remember it in its heyday. Sometimes we spent our money in a sweet shop, <laughs> so we never had the shilling to pay to come in, so we used to sneak in or <laughs> swim up the river bank and come in. I spent all day here. It was fantastic. Dropping in between shifts is former swimmer Scotty. This is a place where I used to come as a youngster. We used to come over from the riverside, hundreds of kids from all walks, all estates, everywhere. In the late 1970s, an indoor pool opened nearby and swimmers went there instead. Through the years, various owners tried to make use of it, but it fell into decline. In 2004, the site went up for sale and caught the eye of private developers. But a small group of locals formed the Cleveland Pools Trust to try and save it. What was it like down here? It had been totally neglected for years, so, you know, the weeds were this high and very peaceful, somewhere that one fell in love with. The number of volunteers trying to save the pools grew, and so did their ambitions. They persuaded the council to lease the pools to the trust. Then, in 2019, they won a heritage lottery grant of nearly £7 million and started work on a full restoration. Trustee Anna Baker was in charge. The building itself needed quite a lot of structural work and the pool shell was cracked, so we had tons and tons of silt at the bottom and lots of wildlife as well that we've had to safely relocate. Since the start, Bath resident and Paralympic swimming medalist Stephanie Millward took a keen interest and is a patron of the Trust. It will make such a difference to so many people. I've got an incurable illness and the swimming has helped me keep the illness at bay. So if it can help me, it can help anybody. Cleveland Pools will fully open next year with the aim to be as accessible as possible. To see it back in its glory now, brilliant. Oh, it's fantastic. And I'm going to carry on coming here and bring my own children here. This is a magic moment. You've done an incredible job. After 200 years, it's great to see Cleveland Pools back on the map.